Welcome to Guns and Chicken Strips. I'm your host James. What's happening? Today we have been given a task. When I'm given a task, I take it very seriously. I'm the type of guy that loves to fix things and work with my hands and build stuff. And that's one of the things we're going to be doing on this channel. And today the task we have been given is to fix Lunkers TV's boat. And I think it's going to be pretty awesome. If it works right. I kind of just wing it. So but we got to make one stop before we get there. We're going to get some food. And then we'll start. See you in the truck. Also here at Guns and Chicken Strips, we like to be thrifty and save money every way we can. We happen to have a big old jar of change. So we're going to buy the supplies we need with this instead of spending money out of the bank account or cash to be thrifty. You see what I'm saying? We've got about 1150 and quarters here, and the supplies we need should not cost any more than that. So, got the cashola we need. Let's get rolling. This right here is what we're gonna be fixing today. The kill guard on his boat, starting to come off from all those giant fish he has in his boat. So, we're gonna do our best to hook him up and fix it. If you don't know what a kill guard is on a boat, it protects it so when you can just bank it up on the shore, instead of having to pull, pull up at a dock or whatever, it just protects the hole. That's what we're fixing for him. Yes, sir, can I get a 10-piece nugget, please? Okay. And that is it. One, six, two, one second, one of you, thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Do y'all have chicken strips? Do y'all have chicken strips? Ah, okay, I was just wondering, because I love chicken strips. Thank you. Did I get a Nah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You let me down, Burger King. You let me down. No chicken strips? Ridiculous, man. Something's wrong with that. Now it's time to go get the supplies. Gonna go to Alozo. I swear by this stuff. I'm ready. $7.55. Well, I happen to have that in quarters right here for you. Right. You ready? Yep. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventy-five. How does that make you feel? Feel rich in quarters? I know, me too. You too? Appreciate you. All right. I appreciate you, Mr. AutoZone man, for being so patient because I would have slapped that garbage off there and been like, come back when you got some real money. No, not really. You gotta be patient with people, you know? Until they start mouthing off, then you give them a little bit of a hoo-hoo. They usually quiet down pretty quick after that. On the way back to the Lunker's house, to it's about a 30 minute drive from where I'm at. We're gonna destroy these nuggets. Sauceless, because I don't like getting my truck dirty. Back at the Lunker's house, got our supplies, and this is what you're gonna need to do this little endeavor. Did you mixing stick? I chose to use this because a flat utensil is a lot better for the applying of the glue. Need some duct tape to tape it on to let glue cure. JB Weld, you can glue engine blocks with this stuff. Awesome, highly recommend it for anything you need to not come apart. Mixing board, I like to use cardboard. You have to use something disposable because once you put this stuff on there, it is not gonna come off. So, piece of cardboard is your best bet. Last thing you need, your awesome brain. You just do, it just, it's what you need. All right, we're now down here underneath the boat, Lunkers TV's boat. I'm gonna glue this bad boy back up on there. Let's start mixing. It's said to usually stir this for about 30 seconds to a minute. I just stir it until it's gray. Starts off as black and white, turns gray when you mix it. I think it's done. Ready, start applying. Thank you. 
while I was over here fixing stuff, I noticed that they had something else laying around. And I might as well just go ahead and do this for them. I got nothing else to do. These are child safety locks. Say a baby is waddling, doing baby things as they do, and they go, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna get in the, I'm gonna get in the drawer. I'm gonna get in the drawer. Ooh. They get in there, all kinds of poisonous stuff in there, and you don't want them to get in there, because that's not good. And that's how babies get hurt. So what we do is we install these things which are baby safety gates. Shut it with that on there, or you can't get it open. So you gotta use this little special key with a magnet in it. Put it right there. Boom, open. See? Baby, bleed. No, magnetic key. Open. Boom, open. It's pretty cool though, that's all it is. Cause I, me I remember growing up and had these little long plastic things on the inside that you'd have to press to open every time. Not anymore. No. Open. Awesome. See? So we're gonna go ahead and install these for the Turkless just to be a nice friend that I am. They already got the two most important ones, but I'm gonna go ahead and knock out all these other drawers. All you need for this is your bad to the bone Makita. Makita, nothing. Makita or Milwaukee, okay? I'll let you slide with Milwaukee, but don't give me that Ryobi garbage. No Ryobi, no DeWalt. I loved DeWalt growing up, but now they've just gone to crap. Makita or Milwaukee all the way. Instructions, men don't need no stinking instructions. <laughs> All the way to the last one before I hurt myself. That's ridiculous. All the baby locks are in place. Can't get into any of these beasts. Now that your man deed of the day is done, time to enjoy a man meal. Strawberries. ultimate madness. Feel all ripped up now. Man meal. I'd like to thank y'all for watching Guns and Chicken Strips. Hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you found it a little informative. It was just me kinda, you know, fixing some stuff, doing some things. But as always, we'll see you tomorrow.